All right, so one more example here about finding inverses of a 3 by 3 matrix using determinants and cofactors. So here we're going to find the inverse of this matrix 2, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 1, 3, 2, and 1. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is find the determinant of A. And I'm going to do this by expanding along the first row. So we'll get 2 times, let's see, the determinant given by negative 1, 1, 2, and 1. Then we'll have to use negative 1, let's see, and then it looks like we'll have 1, 1, 3, and 1. And our last one will have 0 times. Again, who really cares because you're multiplying by 0, but let's fill it in. 1, negative 1, 3, and 2. So let's see, um, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. We'll get negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. Let's see, it looks like we'll get 1 minus 3, which will be negative 2. And the last one is just going to be 0. Well, let's see, this is going to be negative 6 plus 2 or negative 4. So we'll get negative 4 for the determinant of the original matrix. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is calculate using all these cofactors. So let's see here. If we fill in our, if we do our cofactors um, matrix, so again, I'll fill in the signs here in a second. It looks like um, the, f the first entry we would use would be negative 1, 1, 2, 1. Um, if we cover up the first row, the second column, we would have 1, 1, 3, and 1. If we cover up the, the first row, third column, we would have 1, negative 1, 3, and 2. If we cover up the second row in the first column, we'll have 1, 0, 2, and 1. Second row, second column, we'll have 2, 0, 3, and 1. Second row, third column, it looks like we'll have 2, 1, 3, and 2. Let's see, if we cover up the third row, first column, we'll have 1, 0, negative 1, and 1. Cover up the third row, second column, we'll have 2, 0, 1, and 1. And lastly, if we cover up the third row and the third column, we'll have 2, 1, 1, and negative 1. So let's see, let's fill in our signs here. Again, it's going to be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So if we actually uh, simplify all of these 2 by 2 determinants, let's see what we get. So we'll get negative 1 minus 2, looks like negative 3 to me. We'll get 1 minus 3, which would be negative 2, but the extra negative is going to make it positive 2. We'll get 2 minus negative 3, or 2 plus 3, which will be 5. We'll get 1 minus 0, which is 1, but with the extra negative, we'll make it negative 1. We'll get 2 minus 0, which will leave us with 2. It looks like we get 4 minus 3, which would be 1, but then we'll get a negative 1. We'll get 1 minus 0, which will just be 1. Looks like we get 2 minus 0, but with the negative, that'll make it negative 2. It looks like we get negative 2 minus 1, which would be negative 3. So the next thing we have to do is we again have to reflect these values about the diagonal. So the three, two, and ne excuse me, the negative three, two, and negative three, they're going to stay right where they are. So negative three, two, and negative three. And now I'm going to switch the two and negative one. So we'll get two and negative one. We'll switch the 5 and the 1, so we'll get a 5 and a 1. And then I'm going to switch the negative 1 and the negative 2, so I'll get negative 1 and negative 2. And now we have to multiply this by 1 over the determinant. And we said the determinant was negative 4. And this is now going to be our inverse matrix. So let's see if we can't simplify as we go. We'll get uh, negative 3 over negative 4, which is positive 3 fourths. It looks like we'll get a positive 1 fourth and then a negative 1 fourth when we multiply the negative 1 fourth by the first row. 
We'll get negative 2 fourths or negative 1 half. We'll get negative 2 fourths again or negative 1 half. We'll get negative 2 over negative 4, which will be positive 2 fourths or positive uh, 1 half. Looks like we'll get negative 5 fourths. We'll get a positive 1 fourth. We'll get a positive 3 fourths. And now we have found our inverse matrix.